Hey everybody, so I took a bit of a break at the very beginning of this month, but now I'm back and I kind of wanted to share something that's a little different from Ready or Not, and it's not something that I just thought up about like two seconds ago, no, it's actually been on my idea board for maybe a little over two years at this point, but I never really knew how to actually tell this story until now, I guess? I've always had the pieces, but I'm just really bad at putting things together in a coherent way without grammatical errors. Like, yes, yeah, so English is my first language, but I'm terrible at it. I've had this idea in my backlog forever that I just thought, fuck it, I'm gonna wing it. Like, I I always do. So, uh, Papa Squad next to Uncle Durag because it's story time. <sighs> So before I really get into this, I just want to begin by saying I don't have anything against the people that I might mention in this video, okay? It shouldn't have to be said, but I'm going to say it anyway. Please, don't harass anyone. I don't condone any of that, and if you're someone that does do that, you are definitely no subscriber of mine, okay? Let's make that clear. Don't harass anyone, okay? So the game that I'm going to be talking about in this video is called Dead Matter. For those of you that don't know what Dead Matter is, Dead Matter is an open-world zombie survival game set in the post-apocalyptic Canadian Rockies. It was a game that was thought to be more like DayZ, but way more intuitive with better gunplay gameplay and actually like have NPCs where you could go and talk to and have mission objectives that would actually advance the story with compelling characters. It had base building, gun mechanics, makeshift guns and weapons, an in-depth inventory system, smart AI zombies where they would climb over things, go under things or around things to try to come after you. The whole nine yards. It was advertised to be a really good version of a DayZ or a scum, H1Z1, you name it. It was supposed to rise above all these other games in that genre. I remember it being a game that got a lot of attention, especially during 2018 and 2019. So much attention that YouTubers began to cover it. I was seeing like multiple videos about all the cool updates that Dead Matter was having. It looked like Dead Matter was shaping up to be a really good game, but there was something in the back of my mind, or maybe it was just a gut feeling, but something told me to stay away from this game. Maybe it was because because I heard that the game had already been delayed like two years ago prior to these updates at that point but I'm not sure I, I always had like a bad feeling about it but of course I never like said anything I just didn't talk about the game at all and maybe it was because I was already traumatized by Void Interactive's lack of updates and awful PR at that time that I probably didn't want to deal with another game's BS but if there was one thing that I did admire about Dead Matter it was that at the time they were posting quite a bit of updates that actually showed the game having progress. It was a far different contrast from the previous game that I had covered, Police 1013, where they just straight up showed bot store assets, whereas Dead Matter was actually putting in work. I'm talking like actual progress, like you could see the gunplay looking really good and them showing off all the mechanics that you could do in the game. Like I honestly thought that it looked pretty good. You could tell that they actually had some pretty competent developers over there. So yeah, all this stuff was pretty cool, but something didn't sit right with me. And to tell you the truth, I don't know what it was, but anytime when people were in the room talking about it I'd be like cool beans and then walk slowly backwards until I got close to the door and then turn and ran and made it into a sprint I didn't want to talk about it until I actually was able to get into some sort of demo not even big youtubers could convince me to cover it I saw their videos and they were pretty compelling but I stuck with my gut the thing that finally convinced me to bite the bullet and support dead matter was completely random to me so you see what happened was I was streaming one of insurgency sandstorms new update I think it was operation nightfall at the time and one of the developers gun Schlinger hops in the chat and says if you got any questions related to dead matter feel free to dm me on the discord Oh, sure. That to me was like so out of the blue that it just kind of made me forget that I was against supporting the game until they had something tangible. But I kind of looked at it as like an opportunity to, you know, get more information and talk about it on the channel. So of course, I followed him up on that offer and I ended up supporting the project. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I fell into the trap. I was thinking at the time that if I wanted to get caught up with the game, well, that's honestly the best way to do it because signing up for their email would spam my email and now it's kind of haunting me to this day but we'll get into why later because i'm always hesitant to support kickstarted or indiegogo games because it's always been like 50 50 for me i never know if they're going to do well or not like there has to actually be something there for me to support it and even when there is something there that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to actually work out by this point in my life i've supported quite a bit of kickstarters and indiegogos and to be honest either it's a scam the goal never gets met 
set or the game is far different from what they advertised. Hardly ever does the Kickstarter actually become the game that it says it's going to be. Like even Ready or Not, if you go back to their website, their old, old website, they said that they were going to have a bunch of stuff that currently isn't in the game, you know, for one reason or another. But that's the reason why I'm always iffy when supporting games, because I don't know if they're ever actually going to, you know, come out or be the game that it says it wanted to be, all that type of stuff. Now, Dead Matters Indiegogo would actually be successful. It would go on to raise 1.5 million, which is quite a bit for an indie game. And that was just on Indiegogo. Apparently on another platform here, they ended up raising a little over 200K. And I think the game was only asking for around 200K. So, I mean, they got way more than what they asked for. They got around 1.7 million, which is a shit ton of money. I mean, it's a lot of money, but is it enough for the gaming industry? I have no idea. I mean, I definitely know a lot of studios I would kill for that type of money. And I've actually seen a lot of gaming studios do more with a lot less, but I'm getting a little bit off topic here. So let's get back to my story with the developers. So going back to Gunschlinger, I took him up on his offer. I contacted him on Discord. We had like a friendly conversation. I asked him if he wanted to do like an interview because I had seen that there were multiple YouTubers that were already doing like interviews with this development team. And he said that he wouldn't do it, but he could probably get another developer to come and talk to me just so long as I fed them the questions beforehand. And so I sent them the questions that I would like to ask them during the interview. And after that, it was kind of the waiting game. But obviously I wanted to get something more before that interview. So then I asked him if it would be possible for me to give him a bunch of questions to see what he can answer. And he said, yeah. I was like, all right, cool. I didn't actually have a whole lot of questions on hand. So I went to my patrons and subscribers and asked if they wanted to give me a bunch of questions so that I could ask these guys. And they came through. I sent them a bunch of freaking questions and he answered what he could. I even sent a couple of personal questions that I had off the top of my head. And that was pretty much the conversation. After that, I made a video about those questions and everything seemed to be all hunky dory. At that point, I was just waiting for him or somebody else to contact me for that interview. But after a couple of months, it never seemed to come and I kind of just forgot about it until one day I was looking at Twitter and I saw Gunschlinger, the guy who had invited me to do interviews with Dead Matter, all of a sudden now working for Periscope Games, the guys behind Postscriptum. What the hell? Wait. Hold on, I think my brain just short-circuited. Yo, what the hell happened? You're no longer working for Dead Matter or what? I am not. Was there a reason why you left or are you just unable to say or I cannot talk about it? Okay, well then, thanks for letting me know. Oh, what's out of my back? Oh, a giant red flag. I had the sneaking suspicion that something was going on here, but I was hoping that by the time their alpha was gonna drop, everything would be fine. Well, the alpha was delayed a couple of times, but finally, the alpha it came and uh I can't really talk too much about it because there was an NDA, but let's just say I wasn't a happy camper and neither was Dead Matters Discord because it was getting spammed all to hell to the point that I think they actually had to completely just turn off all the chats. When the alpha dropped, it was just not a good day for the developers or the community. I can't really say why, but I think a lot of you know why people would be pissed. At that point, I was just mad because I had supported a game that I did not want to support at all until I actually had something tangible. And when I finally got it, well, it just reinforced what I initially believed. I should have trusted my gut. God damn it. But I made my bed and so I had to lay in it. And I think the worst thing to come out of that was them delaying it to 2022. A whole two years later? What the fuck? This game had already been in development for like five years at this point. So I'm just like, what is going on? So again, time skip to June 4th, 2022 when they release a tweet of some gameplay. And man, it really doesn't even look like they did a lot of work on it like it looks exactly like what I've seen before I don't know man I've seen people throw around the term scam and I don't necessarily believe that just yet but if you want my honest opinion of what I think dead matter is I think that it's a game that's very mismanaged like it's pretty clear that they have a lot of talented people that actually know how to make elements of a game and they for sure had a good chunk of funding but I feel like a lot of that time was just squandered and possibly money wasted behind the scenes now obviously Obviously, I don't know what's actually going on behind the scenes. I could be completely wrong. Maybe they're actually making a really good game and things are more on track than we thought. I don't know. At this point, the game certainly feels too good to be true. I do still have access to the closed alpha, but I haven't played it 
in god knows when. I'll probably play it like after this video just to see if it's any different, but I'm not getting my hopes up. Whenever they decide to actually release the game, I'll definitely check it out. So yeah, that's pretty much how I got bamboozled into supporting a game I didn't want to support. It wasn't the really good advertising, big YouTube videos, or even some of my closest subscribers talking me up about it. It was a developer that contacted me that for some reason finally convinced me to pull the trigger, and I've kind of regretted it ever since. But hopefully, we'll actually see a game from Dead Matter. Who knows? Hopefully? I highly doubt that we're going to see anything in 2022, but here's hoping. And Gunschlinger and I are pretty cool together. You know, we're friends. I ask him about updates on Postscriptum all the time. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm going to end this video. Just thought that I'd talk about this because I've had it on my list for a very long time. And the only reason why I'm actually doing it now is because I keep getting reminded that I freaking supported this game because they keep sending me goddamn emails. And one thing that I've noticed about their emails is that they kind of like stop sending gameplay and they're just kind of like typing it out now. And it's like, oh, well, that's not a good sign. But maybe I'm just seeing a little too much into that. I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts? Tell me in the comments below because I'm going to get the hell up out of here. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Dead Matter, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon or hop on that joy button that's underneath the video. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on any game that I decide to cover. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye